pretty much, I, I, you know, just seemed like we never got in the rhythm. I guess you got to give credit to them. Um, you know, we told our guys, we, you know, you got to expect the unexpected. You didn't know how, obviously, they struggled the last two games. They, they did not play good basketball, uh, whether it was at, te- you know, Texas here or at Kansas. And, but they, they were desperate. We, you know, they had a few days to kind of probably come together a little bit. I thought they, you know, when and Trey played special, he was six for nine for three, and some really tough bombs. But I, I thought we just, I don't know if we had the emotion that we needed uh, to start. Um, and then the execution, the little things, and it just never, never got, never got over the hump. Uh, we pushed it to three or four at the end of the half, um, and then we had some poor, poor possessions, and and they got it back, you know, at halftime eight or whatever it was. And then, uh, you know, every time we made a push, they seemed to have an answer. They they made a lot of a lot of big plays, and it came from a lot of different people. What specifically did Trey do differently in this one that he didn't do? Made shots. <laughs> you know, he, he's so efficient. You know, seven for ten, six for nine, and, and normally, you know, he's got twenty-one shots or whatever it is, and you know, he still turned it over a few times, but uh, he just, uh, you know, he, he made shots and then made plays for them. What were they doing to deny uh, Dean from getting the ball, especially early? Um, I, I, I'm not sure. It was some of it was our guys, maybe not, you know, executing, uh, getting the ball in the position to get it to him. Um, we did, we didn't have, like I say, we didn't have great possessions, great spacing. When we did get it to him, I thought they really loaded it up. But he, you know, Dean, he still has 15 and 11. But I, I, I would think he had four steals and three assists, but I, I think in his mind he probably would say he didn't have a great game, and I didn't think he played as well. We, you know, we needed him to play a little better. Um, he, we had some, you know, some shots at the hoop. Uh, Dean was there a couple times. We didn't get it. Xavier had a layup on a transition. We didn't get it. Uh, you know, and those are big baskets. Uh, we get screwed up on a couple transition defenses that they get some easy looks, and... You know, that, that gave them momentum, and then they start making shots, and now you're playing uphill the whole time. You talked about how OU has struggled, but Trey really looked very comfortable the whole game, had a couple early threes and seemed very comfortable. What did you see from him as far as how comfortable he was? I just thought he was very efficient and, and didn't try to overdo it. Um, you know, and we could, you know, I, I think lately he's started to not force things as much. Um, they, you know, and then they, they were their big guys have pretty good numbers, McNeese and um, and Latin. If you add them up, you know, you're talking 17 points, 14 rebounds, and you know that's that's good numbers for their guys. And they went, it just seemed like they, like I said, they had the right answers. They ran the right stuff, got it to the right people, and they made plays when they needed. Did you defend Trey in the first matchup or not make shots? Same thing. He made shots. And maybe he was a little smarter on, you know, forcing it into the ball screens and things like that. I And he didn't shoot it many times. I mean, that's probably, when you think about it, and we didn't have assists. I, I thought that was uh, motion early, the execution, and then maybe making that extra pass that getting it to people probably was a difference maker for us. And, you know, and we're, we've been pretty good defensively. That's the most reason I think we've given up all year. Um, and, and they shoot over 50% on threes and twos, so uh, probably not as good an effort as, as we need. Is it frustrating as a coach when he just you know pulls up from 25, 27 feet and just hits threes like that? I mean, we we told the guys he's gonna make tough shots, shake his hand, and go to the other end, and try to you know go and execute. Don't get caught up in now. I gotta go make a play on him. I think that's the big thing. You mentioned emotion twice kind of lacking early what specifically would you like to see I just thought I, I just don't know if you know we've been so locked in we've been so good and I just don't think we had that and I you know I'm and you know especially on the road we've been locked in better than even maybe at home um but it I'm, I'm and again I don't know I you know sometimes you just have a feel from your guys and uh they just we just didn't have rhythm maybe and again I gotta give Oklahoma credit they played well 